what vintage are you pouring today? So I choose 2011. Uh, okay. That for me is a, a perfect sum up of uh, the identity and the DNA of Cheval Blanc. Okay. Uh, so and, and why is that? Because we have a, a large mm. proportion of Cabernet Franc uh, in, in this wine. And when you smell it, you have the whole complexity uh, of Cheval Blanc with different kind of aroma from flower to red and black uh, uh, fruit and uh, uh, licorice, mint, menthol. So you have something uh, uh, very typical from the bouquet. Uh, this is what Blanc. you're looking for in Cheval yes, Blanc. Yes, exactly. In fact, even on the palette, this is exactly what we have in our mind when we think about the terroir of Cheval Blanc. A wine that starts at the beginning as a shy wine, but slowly appear on the palette and give you all the power, the density, the volume, and the silkiness on the mid palette. And after the wine continue, 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 it's a very long and deep wine that slowly disappears but with a huge elegance and delicacy. So I was really thinking about the 53 different plots you have and the complexity you were talking about. And I'm, I'm finding in that here. I mean, there is an incredible complexity in the yeah. bouquet. And, and this is very important to understand that it's come from the terroir, of course, but as well, it's come from the diversity of that terroir. So uh, we think that each plot brings something special. That the reason why our philosophy of blending mm -hmm. is not to choose at the end which wine can participate to the blend or not. Our philosophy of the blending is to work enough in the vineyard to have each plot in the blend. So it's a vigneron philosophy of blending. There is just an extraordinary freshness in this wine and I'm wondering how you feel climate change is going to impact that and what are you doing to, to deal with that challenge? It's one of our fears to, to, to have a, a huge change in the vineyard uh, due to the climate change. That's the reason why we should change the way we work. Uh, we started a few years ago and we accelerate that move uh, uh, with agroforestry, with cover crop. We believe that the mycelium, for example, is going to help us to bring more water on, on the first part of the, of the floor, going to help us to uh, uh, continue to have some connection between uh, the different plants uh, that we have on the cover crop, the different trees that we planted in, in, in the vine and uh, the vines uh, uh, itself. So we, we, we are sure that we're going to have a certain balance that's going to come from that life uh, in the soil. In addition of that, the Cabernet Franc, and specifically the old selection massal, so the, the own plants of Cabernet Franc of Cheval Blanc, uh, bring that freshness, that delicacy, that acidity. And for the future, we bet as well that biodiversity, cover crop, agroforestry, uh, uh, multi-crop uh, farming gonna help us to keep and to preserve uh, that identity and that uh, DNA of Cheval Blanc.